If only the camera could record smells, then... Yeah, I suppose. Give it a few years, it'll happen, perhaps. <laughs> Hello. We have come to Farmonia to meet the Bahmani family. This is really the expert job, you know? So, so I, I'm doing that, you see? Yeah, really okay. complicated stuff. They're going to take us on a journey on how the great Gourme Sabzi and Shirin Polo is made. This rice actually is mixed with that uh, mixture of Shirin Polo. It's not a very common cooked no. food. It's very it's Usually rare. for the wedding. And this is the, the topping yes. that goes on the rice. It smells Beautiful. amazing. Oh my God. So there's almonds, carrots. Lots of saffron, big uh, onion, chopped onion. Oh, and there's this, the grind. And it's amazing. There's no bitter taste. It's very sweet. Food is what everyone gets together for, either being the afternoon tea or the Thursday family dinners, which we were all curious at what would be served on the table. This is cooked chicken. Yeah, boiled, right? Yeah. Well, with this boiled chicken, is good because I save some juice for the rice. I put it on top. Mm, I'm getting quite hungry. <laughs> and then that's the famous gourmet sabzi right yeah. there. Yes. Wow. Shall I explain what it is? Please. Leek, parsley, few leaves of spinach, and uh, that fenugreek. This is the smell. Oh. Or sabzi is from Shambalile. this. Shambalile, yes, of course. If you put too much, it, it's bitter. Mm. And then when it's almost cooked, I put some dried lime. Now that is some good korma sabzi. The dinner that we had with the family definitely reminded me of being with my own family. This girl here, really great cook. Me? But she's. Nothing. No, no, we're talking about somebody else, not about you, no. somebody else. Yeah. Of course we're talking about you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so. so is it true that the road to a man's heart is through food? Zero. The answer is supposed to be yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's very, very important, obviously. Uh, good food. What's your favorite dish that she makes? Fatty. For St. John? And I, yeah, I think for St. John perhaps is the best. Fatty and her mother are a tops on this. Because my mother was good cook, I always compare uh, other people's food with my mom. This used to be my job as a kid. This is where you put the saffron, you add the hot water, and you have to grind it so it becomes like a paste. And that's what you then add to the rice to make it nice and yellow. So now we have the mixture of the smell of gourmet sabzi, the smell of saffron mixed with the smell of orange, and it has a it has a unique scent. This is tadik. Tadik is the bottom of the pot, and the rice becomes very crusty, and especially tasty. People kill for this. Now there's always a fight over yeah. the paddy. Yeah, paddy is, yeah, is a special. And the rest of it, I'm gonna eat. It's cheating. Yeah, I know. <laughs> mm. Berenj, you have to put it in your mouth. Yeah, this is all mine. This is yours, yes. Oh, this is good. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> mm. Persian food definitely takes a long time, but every spoonful is worth the wait.